One state the former president has not visited this campaign season is Utah, where incumbent Republican Senator Mike Lee is now locked in a tight race with his Republican-turned-independent challenger Evan McMullen. In their only debate, McMullen delivered what many consider to be the line of the night, reminding Senator Lee who he voted for in the 2016 presidential election. How will each of you approach foreign policy in the Senate to ensure the United States remains internationally dominant in times of both peace and war? There are things we have to do right away. First is invest in hard power. We need to increase the size of our naval fleet. We need to invest in systems uh, like the updated, modernized international ballistic mis missile system. We also need a Republican offset to a president who's not all there, to a president for whom my opponent voted. Well, Senator Lee, I, I think both you and I have, have had times of frustration over the last several years in the options being provided to us at the presidential level by both parties. In 2016, as you recall, you voted for me out of that frustration when you stood on principle, as you should have. Yeah. Voted for me, and Evan McMullen joins us now. Evan, it's good to see you this morning. Uh, watching that debate, the, the one and only time it appears for now that you were on a stage together with Senator Lee and knowing how close this race is, of course, the economy is way up there on people's minds as it is everywhere. But it was noteworthy, the focus on January 6th and the attempt to overturn the 2020 election. Uh, Senator Lee was working behind the scenes to help Donald Trump do that, ultimately did vote to certify and said on stage that Joe Biden is the president. Uh, you said this, though, Mr. Lee's actions are the most egregious betrayal of our nation's constitution and its history by a U.S. senator. It will be your legacy. Is that a resonant issue with the voters of Utah? Well, thanks for having me on, Willie. Good to be with you. It is. Uh, Utahns are concerned about a variety of issues, whether it's inflation, the high costs of health care, our lack of water, air quality issues. I could go on and on. Uh, but a majority of Utahns are also concerned about the fact that Mike Lee betrayed his oath to the Constitution. He calls himself a constitutional conservative. He carries around his pocket Constitution and waves it in the air when it's convenient. But he abandoned his oath and that could end that document to try to overturn the will of the people in American democracy after the 2020 election by trying to find fake electors to do that job. And we've got to hold them accountable. Utahns know that we should be represented by people in the House and the Senate and everywhere who truly are committed to the Constitution. Senator Lee has failed that test. He betrayed the he betrayed the, the, the document, but I think also the American Republic, and, and he's got to be held accountable. Most Utahns are united around that fact and united around the need for a senator representing us to work across party lines to solve problems, and that doesn't happen unless we have a functioning democracy. Senator Lee has worked very hard to tear it down. You look at the polling averages. You certainly have closed the gap. Senator Lee does does have a lead, but you're within the margin of error in a couple of recent polls here. How have you done it? What has been the focus of your campaign for our national audience that maybe hasn't followed it this closely? How have you done it against an incumbent Republican senator? Yeah, the, the most recent polls have us either up by a few or down by a few with still 10 to 12 percent undecided. Most of those leaning against Lee, but just tuning into the race now. So we've got an excellent opportunity here to replace him. The reason we've been able to rise so steadily in the polls and, and now have a, a real chance of defeating Senator Lee is that we built a cross-partisan coalition of Republicans, Democrats, and independents who are still committed to our founding ideals that were created free and equal. And therefore, we have a, a system of self-government, a democratic republic in which we choose our own leaders, and when we vote them out, they go peacefully. That has united this coalition, and it's, it's a powerful rebuke to the politics of division and extremism that Senator Lee has embodied and that now dominate our country and threaten its future. So that's what we're doing. We're rejecting the status quo out here. Senator Lee's taken $4 million from special interest groups. I've refused to take a penny of their money. This is about representing Utahns, representing people, and bringing our country together to, to, to protect and strengthen our democracy and to solve actual problems that we face on a day-to-day -day basis. That's what this is about. And that's why people are coming together across the party or across the the political spectrum to, to make a change here.
So, Evan, it is noteworthy to mention that Senator Mitt Romney, a Republican, has not endorsed his fellow Republican Senator Mike Lee for re-election because of issues around January 6th. But give us a brief sense. Were you to win and take office, you're an independent. Uh, where will you, with uh, on a few key issues, give us a sense where you will side with Republicans versus where you might side with Democrats. Well, in general, I'm committed to working across party lines to solve problems. Our other senator, Senator Romney, who you mentioned, he has a, a track record of that. He's only been in the Senate for a few years, uh, but he works as a part of cross-partisan groups, bipartisan groups to solve problems. And most pieces of legislation now that get through the Senate are because they've, they've gained the support or really been written within that group of Republicans and Democrats. I've told them that I plan to join that group. If we prevail here, we have an excellent chance of doing so. And, and that's how, how I'll work in the Senate. And that'll be very different from my opponent, Senator Lee, who in 12 years has only passed uh, 10 bills, and that's a generous count. And a good number of those just named federal buildings. He hasn't gotten anything done because he's embraced the politics of division and extremism. And as you well know, senators and, and members of Congress who uh, are divisive and extreme don't get anything done. And Senator Lee is certainly an example of that. So, uh, just to give you know, to name a couple of issues, you know, I'll uh, work with any senators who want to do good things for Utah and the country. I think we need to get our fiscal house in order. I think we need to be serious about lowering inflation by bringing critical manufacturing back to back to America as much as possible. Uh, I think we've got to be more serious about uh, protecting the environment and our air and water here in Utah. We face some very acute. Uh, consequences of our failure to live up to our responsibility of stewardship for the environment. We've got to take on, you know, big special interest groups that cause Americans to pay far more for health care than, than almost anyone in the industrialized world. So I'll work across party lines to solve those problems and to strengthen our democracy because we won't solve any issue unless we've got a functioning system of self-government. Independent candidate for Utah Senate seat, Evan McMullen, thank you very much for coming thank on you. this morning.